Good morning, everybody. We are on the way to the shop. Today's a big day. Our friends from Florida are coming to visit. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of stuff behind me, and I'm sitting in a bunch of awesome SoCal traffic. So what we're going to do today is a little bit different than normal. Last week's Day in the Life video did pretty well. Got some good feedback and some good, good comments. So today I'm going to go to the shop, meet with Kyle, Sherry, and Steve from Ford. Um, usually we keep it a secret, but this year with all the documentation, it's not. As you guys know, we've been building cars and designing cars for Ford since 2009. We started with a GT Mustang, and this year we're doing our third truck. We're super excited to be doing a 2020 Ford Ranger. What's different about the Ranger compared to the seven that were in the booth last year, you guys know we like to go down instead of up. So we're doing the first Ranger, new Ranger, on full air suspension. We partnered with Airlift again, um, and we are gonna go as low as possible. A couple of challenges compared to the F-150. Right now the travel is about eight, nine inches, and we still wanna go about two inches lower. Um, just wanna show you guys what we're working on. It's a whole lot of product from Kicker, Power Tank, the Recaro seats are behind me, Ford Performance Exhaust, the bare brakes. Um, I was gonna show you the wheels that Rotor Former building. We're building some custom one-off 22-inch LHRM wheels. Of course, the Falcon tires, we gotta see what works between the 265 40, the 285 40, but got about another 45 minutes in traffic. Um, once we get to the shop, we'll be setting up. Ford will be there in about an hour and a half. And then after they leave, I'll show you guys up close and personal why we chose certain products and uh, why we work with certain partners. I also want to touch on something that has been a point of discussion for the last 20 years. It's a big difference between we're SEMA builders and SEMA designers. And I've always said this and I'll always say it. I'm not a builder. I've never claimed to be a builder. I have a great team. Luis, our painter, Adam and Mike at Unique. They're the guys behind the builds. I'm just the guy behind the scenes. I'm blessed to run the road show, um, have great relationships with over 30 partners. Been working with Falcon for 20 years, Airlift since 2006, Rotiform since 2010, um, Meguiar's since 2003. So we've got lots of great partners, Bayer, has been on all my builds since 2010, but as a designer, um, I get to envision a plan for Ford. I brought Colin in last year, as you know. Colin's my son, he's 10. He helped design the Mustang, um, the RTR Mustang, the purple one. Again, this year he helped with the Ranger, with the color, with working with Von Gitten and his team at RTR on the RTR flares, the grill, the skid plate. So. Colin's following my footsteps on the design element, but big difference between builder and designer. Builder are the guys behind the scene. Yes, I could get my hands dirty a little bit, but Adam and Mike are the welders. Luis is the painter, uh, the fabricators. So the designer envisions what he wants to see, works with the design team at Ford, and then is in charge of all the marketing, and all the coordinating, all the emails, all the phone calls. Um, Coleman Power Sports, good example. Uh, I worked with their design team on the drift trike and on the go-kart for Colin and the mini bike and making sure the colors match. So we had to work with BSF to make sure the army green and the sandstorm colors work, the ranger colors work. So I'm more on the back end and then at SEMA in the forefront to talk to the media, make sure that the Ranger is set up in the Ford booth. We'll get there on Saturday, drive it into the booth, do all the photography, and then Friday, the day of the show, end day of the show, drive it out. So it's a lot that goes into it. We have a great team. Um, Denny and Scotty are my booth coordinators. Adam, Mike, Luis, they're my team behind the scenes. And then myself and Colin, are the ones that do the design. 
my wife's a big influence and help. She's been around for, I've been together 24 years. So very blessed to have a great team, but big difference between designer, builder, marketing. We do a little bit of everything. So we're almost at the shop. We're gonna set up, um, show you guys what all goes into this build. And then very excited to show you the build leading up to SEMA. So thanks again for following along. Uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll be there in a few. And that is a quick, quick recap to my drive, my daily drive <laughs> pre SEMA to the body shop. So left turn, right turn, left turn, right turn. We are here and about to check on the Ranger. Just got to the body shop. I'm gonna walk inside, see what's going on. I hear some sexy music in the background. Can you hear it? It's my wedding song. Whoa, all right. So I have to go check it on the guys. There is a lot that goes into these SEMA builds. So this looks like a school presentation, but we just met with our friends from Ford um, to go over the Ranger build. So I wanted to show you some of the product that's going into the build this year. Starting with one, two, double, four Recaro reclinable seats that they sent for the front and the back of the Ranger. They also sent their slider kit and then the guys at Unique Fabrication will make the brackets. Other goodies, you'll see of course, we've always worked with Bear Brakes. They're doing their 6S and 6P rotors and calipers. Here's the CAD drawing that Rick sent me. The extremes in the front, the pros are the rear. And then of course, we teamed up with Rotiform. So here's the CAD drawing that Jason and Brian sent me. Of course, it's six slug. Here's the lip we'll get. We're doing 22s. Here are the new mesh wheels. One of my favorite Rotiform wheels. So the brakes will look super bitching behind the mesh design. Uh, we're also working with Airlift, as you guys know. So I'll show you guys. By air, we always do the black compressors. The Airlift tank. It's gonna go in the back of the bed. We're gonna build a wooden floor to make sure everything's nice and hidden, but this is the back. Take a sneak peek at one of the flares. Inside, besides the Recaro seats, which I'll show you guys in a sec. Kicker sent us all of their top of the line components, subwoofer, two amps, also working with Ford Performance this year on a lot of stuff. We're doing a front safe and a rear safe. Little things like differential cover. Also have a good relationship with them. So we're doing new rigid fog lights. And then these are the bed lights that we'll be doing. So a lot of Ford Performance parts, of course. We had the Ford Performance exhaust by Borla. Details like Broadway mirror. And then we couldn't show you on the car, but Airlift supplied their bag struts for the front, bags for the rear, complete air management. And then we've been working with Optima for many a year, so got their new yellow top battery. That'll be going in. Oh, and just remember, just came in. We're also working with a power tank. It's kind of cool. Smaller bottle, more compressed. That'll be going in the bed. So big shout out to Power Tank for some more goodies. And then this is gonna be super dope. 
Coleman sent us a drift trike. This is for you, Mark. Your personal drift trike from Coleman. Super badass. That we'll be displaying in the bed. Motor, drift tires. Check it out. It is super dope. Not quite like Vaughn, but we like it, so. Here's my Land Cruiser. That'll be done next week. And then here are all the stock parts. So we stripped the entire interior, seats, door panels, all the moldings. So this is the factory grill. The RTR grill has the LED triangles. So we'll have a new RTR grill. Took the front and rear bumpers off. All the inner trim, of course, for the wider wheels. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. We're excited to show you guys. Oh, let me show you guys the Recaros. So you guys saw there were two outside, two more in storage. Cool pattern. So we got four fully reclinable seats. Due to our contract and stipulations with Ford, we can't show the actual car for this video. You have to wait till SEMA, but we pulled the bed off. Here's the airlift brain and then the rear bags. Compressed, of course. New Ford Performance exhaust will go here. So I'm gonna jump inside the bed. Sorry, can't jump inside the bed. <laughs> inside the cab to show you guys the safe and the front and rear Recaro seats. This footage is gonna get a little tricky because we can't show the color, but I'm inside the cab right now. Here's the airlift controller. See how I can film this. There's the front Recaro seat. The safe. So this is the Ford Performance safe. And then Here's the rear Recaro. Sorry guys, can't show the color, but we're gonna do two seats in the back, two seats in the front. Here's your jump for you. Oh, here's my jump rope. <laughs> After I'm done filming, I jump rope or Luis won't let me leave. And then we're also doing a safe up in the front. So front safe, rear safe, my jump rope, and then the Recaros. Is this your favorite song? Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick some of the Coleman goodies that came in. So this is the mini bike. Camo. So dope. So this is for the Land Cruiser. And then they also sent us one of their go-karts for Colin. So we got the drift trike, the mini bike, camo, and the go-kart. Big thanks to our friends at Coleman. Mi hermano, um, <laughs> compadre. We just met with the team from Ford, Steve, Sherry, and Kyle, who was trying to check on Luis's paint, but we passed. So we are gonna clean up, had a good meeting. Luis is gonna get back to work, um, put this video together. And we found out in about a week, they'll be showing the rendering. So as soon as they show the renderings, we'll drop a video with the complete build. Thanks guys. Chilling in our Recaro seats and uh, just thankful every day, try to count our blessings. Um, the team around us, my family, uh, my salvation, so. Couldn't do this without the man above. Just want to say, blessed to be doing what we're doing. And uh, just remember to take care of those. And take care of you. Got Kyle's Pepsi. So he's stoked. Uh, great meeting. And uh, heading back to the house. Pick up the kids. 
star daddy duty, but it was a good day, a fun day. Four Recaros, we're excited. So thank you for following along, checking out our channel, and uh, excited to show you guys the finished product.